I don't feel like going to school today. Fuck school. I'd rather do something else instead of school. Yeah, hey dad, what's up? I bought your house. Cool. I haven't got a car, so how am I supposed to get there? Maybe catch a bus or something like that. Or a taxi. Okay, see ya, Dad. See ya, son. I'm gonna sell this house. I'm gonna call up the real estate and sell this place. Hello, what's having real estate? Yeah, hey, uh, I would like to sell the place in street sure how much you want to pay the house basically you know what I mean uh, it's up to you pretty much you can sell it how much you can keep the money or give some to me okay see ya see ya instead why should I steal this fucking car? Let's call up my dad. You heard Sean? Hey, uh, I stole a car. So, yeah, text me where to go, basically. Okay, see ya. See ya, dad. He said it should be fuck. Okay, quickly go up, go up, go up. <clears throat> but okay, put this in my GPS. Which head? Okay, it should be down here. Okay, here is the place. I have to put my car, this is not, not my car, so I have to abandon it down here. To park it here. And let someone steal it or the cops will collect it. So, yeah. This is the place down here. Not that place, of course. This is where the cartel owns, huh? Cool. It's pretty nice place, but the cartel owns this area. I guess the whole hood of this area. The cartel owns. Nice place. Is this my place or is this my place? I think, yeah, this is my place. Okay. Let's have a look inside the radar, but for now, let's smoke some weed out here, my boy. Let's chill down here, my boy. Okay, later. Oh, oh, I'm really jealous. Why didn't you just come out and tell me? Aren't we girlfriends? You can trust me. Do you think Uncle Tejo has always been this scary? He's not scary to you. He's just poor, desperate, and mean. Tim Tejo. Sometimes, I feel bad for him. Julio alias on board. Permission to engage. Yeah, Dad. Hey, son. You're going to go to this school neighborhood. Pretty much. I already drop you out of the other school. And now you're going to this school, pretty much.
Got it? Okay, Dad. Good. Shoo, Sean. Shoo. Let's chill here, I guess. Do the normal. Dorothy were programmed to send signals to each other, but the nanobots went further. It started talking to bots outside her body, too. Nobody knows how it's possible. Not even Dr. Khan can explain it. She can make flowers blossom on a dead tree. Here was a possibility to bring life back to Earth. But Sullivan took Dorothy to use her in his Mars development project. He hadn't been getting anywhere before, but now he's got this new power. That's how he turned Mars into a tropical island. One genetically modified plant changed Mars. But nothing can save Earth. It's all bullshit. And the mass media just repeats Sullivan's life. Courtney, what'll happen to her? What do you think Sullivan's gonna do with when her? Mars became the only planet where terraforming was possible. The miracle needed to disappear. They wiped away everything. Lab results, data, the scientists who worked on the project. Courtney got out before they could kill her. They can't kill Dorothy. Dorothy gets protection from the nanobots. The only way to kill a nanobot is to heat it over 200 hydrogen bombs. There's a bomb inside a factory's anti-gravity engine. A real one. Dorothy will be taken there and blown into subatomic particles. The factory will then crash into the Earth, causing massive fractures across the planet's crust, as well as tsunamis and nuclear fallouts. More than three billion people will die. Sullivan is not a savior of humanity. He wants to destroy everything on Earth. my place huh okay kitchen dinner table the lounge room and then my cell room my bathroom and then the bedroom nice it looked good at oh, outside board Inside it's crappy. Okay, there's a bong here. May as well hit a bong before I head to bed.
where it's head to bed, I guess. Okay, it's five in the morning. And I'm still baked. Let me call up my dad. You yeah, Sean? You yeah, hey dad. Uh do I start school today or Yeah, you start school now. Okay, see ya. That's all. Okay, see you Sean. Okay, we're well, put on my backpack and then head to school I guess. Well, let's head to school now. Let's head outside and head to school, I guess. Let's head to school, I guess. It's 5 a.m., walk normal. Okay. School, should we do text me where it is? Yeah, okay. So school should be down here. Let's head to the school, I guess. Here we are. The school building is that building, right? That that big building there. Not that house, of course. But that building there, that big, big building, right here, this one is the school, and this one is the yard of the school. So, yeah, may as well. Oh, there's a baseball bat. Okay, I already have a base for that, I forgot about that. Okay. Let's chill somewhere around here. Smoke some weed and do the normal stuff. Ride cross. You know. What I do basically. I'm guess.
organization. They were responsible for the nightclub massacre in the 32nd Commercial District, as well as the shooting on the factory, the waste management satellite. They are currently in possession of Dorothy and are on the run from authorities. They're all Korean. Jang Hunsu, adopted through the UTS Genius Program and trained as an engineer. As a student, she developed 4D AR lenses in addition to lightweight laser blaster and EMP mines. At age 19, she deserted the colony to form a pirate organization after becoming immersed in anti-UTS ideology. She attempted and failed to assassinate UTS CEO James Sullivan, during which attempt all of her crew members died. She is suspected to be living under a false identity after undergoing eye replacement surgery. Kyung-soo. Until four years ago, he led a seizable drug cartel on Earth, fled the planet to avoid capture, and is now illegally residing in the orbit. No one else knows, but he was sentenced to death before fleeing, and if he ever returns to Earth, he will be promptly executed. Kim Tae-ho, the first ever UTS genius, the only adopter you carried into UTS in your arms, also the inaugural commander of the space car. At age 70, he reset the records for flight speed, mission completed,
Is the emergency radio on? Emergency channel, emergency channel. KOR SH 79015. Oh, it's already on. Current location inside the anti gravity sphere in the factory. You pucks out there, right baby. Let's pause it, put it on my joint, and head home, I guess. The school, obviously, is a high school and middle school. Because what else? There's a playground there for kids. So it's obviously a high school and a middle school. Let's head home, I guess. Here we are at my place. Look at this place. Ah, uh, no, that's not my place. I forgot, it's over here. Let's head to bed, I guess. Here we are, in my place. This is my crib. Let's head to bed, wake up, head to school. Okay, it's 5am, let's head to school I guess, may as well. Lucky they're not after me cunt, like fuck. Let's head to school I guess, may as well. Here we are, at school. Let's chill here, smoke some weed. Sit down my boy and watch Netflix. And then after that, watch YouTube I guess. If I feel like watching YouTube. Press play.
it's the next day. I went home off camera, had the bed, woke up in the morning, for school off normal, and now I'm here. So, yeah. Now the nanobots we inserted into your cranial nerves will receive the data and interpret them to your sensory system. Now we don't know what form the data will take or just exactly how the interpretation process works, but we do know that for that one moment, even soon you'll be connected. And Dorothy will be your medium. We are synchronized. We tell another joint. May as well. Orbit at 